Our journey started approximately 10 weeks ago when our little boy um, arrived at 27 weeks. John Radcliffe's team helped our little boy's um, stomach. Everything from the minute we arrived um, has just been, so we've been well, well looked after. A neonatal unit is a intensive care plus a less than intensive care setup, and they look after approximately 1% of babies who are born who then need special care. Most of them need special care because they are born before their time. Their systems haven't developed fully, so they need the help and support of technology and our expertise to help them make that transition from fetal life to baby life. And we have close to 800 admissions per year and we look after close to 150 very small preterm babies. And in Oxford we serve the region, so it's the peripheral district general hospitals. If they have complicated babies, they come to us as well. The knowledge and the communication from the consultants are uh, exceptional. The nurses as well, we don't feel, you know, we can't leave his side. And that's all down to the care of the nurses and the doctors and the consultants. It's very technical on one side. You're working with equipment and technology and, and, and modern medicine and all that has got to offer. Uh, but there's, a, there's another side of, of dealing with mums and dads and, and actually being part of that journey uh, that mums and dads undertake and the, the faith they place in us. It's an enormous privilege uh, and, and a huge challenge. Neonatal nurse is clinically very expertise, knows a lot of physiological um, scientific background and we do a lot of um, physiology and academic work but also you have to tie in the needs of the family and you need to be able to feel empathy and show love and respect for the whole family around the baby. You see the families and you see the joy on their faces as they manage to do something small for their baby that seemed completely unrealistic not so long ago or you get a card through the post with a photo of someone who was born at 23 weeks gestation and you see them in their school uniform and it just makes it all so worthwhile. The reason why I choose neonatology to be why I chose neonatology because we had many babies who turned the corner and actually within five, seven days, sometimes with very intensive support, they, they, they got better. I guess success really has to be reflected in the, the children that come through this unit, the babies that grow because I've been here so long, I see them come back as teenagers. I see them come back to do work experience here, some of whom then go on to be doctors themselves. We have made huge leaps in technology. I think 50 years ago, we did not have as many babies who were less than 30 weeks surviving. Now, we are talking about surviving uh, babies who are 22, 23 weeks. So technology has allowed us to shift viability, allowed us to to care for the smaller ones and the more, more preterm babies. What I've seen is the transition over uh, the period of time that I've been here is the greater involvement of parents in decision making and involvement with the care of their babies and a very much, very, very open approach to information sharing about the progress of their child's care. Anything that we do say is taken on board, so our opinions do matter. Um, they asked the parents first, guys, how has he been? Um, have you noticed anything? Is there something specific you want us to look at? And everything's just taken on board, which we appreciate so much. Our voice matters. Everyone here pulls together as a team to provide the best care that they're able to for all of the infants that we come across. Um, and that's one of the most special parts of being involved in neonatal care. Most people don't know we exist. But once they do, I don't think we're ever forgotten. Now, after the 10 weeks, we feel like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're hopefully going to be able to go home before my actual due date because of how hands-on the observations have been, the care's been, and how well he's recovering from his operation as well. Yeah.